Well, this is our, uh, our hydrogen powered cart. I'll try to explain the, the basic uh, concept of how it works. Um, down here we have the red tank. That is the, the fuel tank. In there the hydrogen is stored at uh, 200 bars. Uh, there's a 5 liter tank, it's not that big. Um, the, the, five, the 200 bars are regula regulated by the pressure box down here. Uh, this uh, downsizes the, the, the pressure to first to uh, 80 and then to 28 uh, bars. Um, and afterwards it's uh, fed to the second pressure box in which it's reduced to 5.5 uh, bars which is the inlet pressure of our fuel cell. Uh, the fuel cell is the main thing that the cart works on. It's, it's, it's the whole power source. Uh, this is uh, the, our fuel cell which is here to there. It's uh, quite quite large. So there to there it's the fuel cell under, under cover. Yes, okay, right. under the cover. And what is the blue super caps, blue caps? Yes, I'll come to that later. Or, or okay, do you? later. Okay. Do again. So uh, in the fuel cell, uh, our hydrogen can react with, with oxygen and uh, out of that reaction comes uh, two things, energy and uh, H2O, which is water. Water, uh, water we, uh, we can uh, contain in this little flask here. Okay. So you can, you can really drink out of our exhaust uh, if you would really like. Uh, so the water, where is the water getting? Okay. Um, well, the fuel cell produces energy, which is electricity. And um, the electricity is fed to a converter, uh, which uh, converts the, the voltage of the fuel cell up to a higher level, because mm -hmm. uh, we need that to, to run our, our whole system. Uh, the converter makes sure that the, the voltage is upped, and then it's fed to our, uh, our uh, storage system, which is uh, these blue super caps. They are uh, super capacitors, which uh, each are 3,000 farads. And uh, in total, we can store 250 kilojoules of energy in there. Um, the way we work is that uh, our fuel cell works constantly on 8 kilowatts. And uh, when we don't need the energy uh, while racing, because we are already at, at, at speed, the uh, additional energy that is left by the fuel cell is stored in, in, the, in the super caps. And when we make a turn and, and uh, lose uh, speed, we can pull back the energy out of the out of the boost caps and uh, ga gain an enormous speed boost because normally our, our fuel cell is eight kilowatts, but uh, with the boost caps we can get uh, more than twenty kilowatts extra boost power just to make sure we accelerate and that makes our car go from zero to hundred kilometers an hour in a little more than five seconds. So that that's the real the the, the, the power behind the racing that the hydrogen sp the fuel cell supplies the energy and the, the boost caps make sure that we we can accelerate fast enough. Uh, after that, uh, the energy is fed to our motor controllers, which makes sure the motors uh, drive on the right speed, uh, combined with how much throttle we, uh, we, w we give with the pedals. And uh, then to our two pancake uh, DC motors. The, the energy from the boost caps is uh, sent to our motor controller, which uh, regulates uh, the speed and torque of the motors. Uh, we program all this ourselves, and um, the motor controllers uh, are made by um, Curtis. Uh, the, the, the supplier of uh, the fuel cells. We, we have an hydrogenics uh, high PM uh, eight uh, fuel cell, and, boot cap uh, and uh, the boost caps are from Maxwell. Okay. And so mm. this model are from this, uh, these are Perm uh, 132 motors, pancake uh, DC motors. Okay. Which uh, which power our our axle? We use a uh, uh, two uh, single. Ac we use uh, two different uh, rear axles, one for each wheel. And that gives us uh, the effect of a, a sort of differential effect, so we don't have to have the same uh, speed when you when you take a turn when you take a turn a curve. And that means because when when you take a tur curve, the the weight uh, ratio shifts from one wheel to the other, and one wheel cannot uh, dissolve as much power as the other can. So that's why we have two uh, separate axles to make sure that the speed of the wheels doesn't have to be fixed, and we could could always always also uh, regulate that. Okay. Um, well, furthermore, uh, all this whole system is regulated by our uh, custom uh, electronics system, which uh, in here is uh, our PCB box with a lot of wires out of it. So, um, what, is, uh, what are for these electronics? Uh, what has the main role? Uh, electronics, uh, yeah, that's really the heart of our our system. Because if electronics don't work, the car doesn't work. It, uh, it's, it's, it's a whole different thinking because normally racing is well, mostly mechanical uh, but uh, 
the, the, yeah, we have to have working electronics, otherwise the fuel cell doesn't do anything. And uh, we don't. We, we have to. We have electric motors, electric motor controllers, and those all have to be regulated and and, and checked and, and 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 measured to to make sure that you can get into racing conditions. So electrical engineers uh, have a lot of importance uh, in our team. Uh, most of, our, most of our students are either electrical engineers or uh, mechanical engineers or uh, aerospace engineers. You're not from cars? Hmm? Not automotive uh, engineer, no? Uh, well, at, at Delft we don't have a specific automotive uh, okay. study, so uh, most automotive is mechanical engineering. Okay, that's okay, sorry. So what are the main problems you have to, to face during such an event uh, or demonstration or race? What is the main problem you have to face? Well first you have to learn the track, uh, the drivers have to make sure that they, they know uh, how to take each curve correctly. Um, specifically for this track, the, the the track itself is not that good, there are quite some humps and bumps in it and we, we sometimes we launch the cart and uh, there's a lot of, uh, of uh, bumping. So that's really interesting. We have to make sure uh, the electrical system keeps working and sometimes uh, it's possible that there, there come some errors and uh, we have to monitor those and, and, and check the, the battery voltages, check the hydrogen system, check the pressures and uh, make sure it, it keeps running. Okay, so thanks a lot. I hope to, to see you in Paris <laughs> okay. in 2010. Well, uh, if it's uh, there... Uh, context, I hope to organize in Paris okay. in 2010. Bye-bye. That would be great. Bye.